Hola marketers, welcome back to our YouTube channel where we talk about all things Facebook ads. And today I wanna to talk about the long and dreaded question we all seem to have a little trouble answering is the difference between Facebook Business Suite or Meta Business Suite and Facebook Business Manager or Meta Business Manager. The two are very, very similar eventually they're actually going to merge into one which will be business suite but at the moment it can be really confusing deciding which one you should be using how you should be using it maybe even how to get access to it and how you can be managing either your current clients or your own business with your business owner so stick around the entire video is going to have a huge value bomb here because this is something i've even struggled to answer as well um, so i've done all the research that you guys need to be able to answer what is the difference between facebook business suite and Facebook business manager. Okay, so first I'm just going to give you a very simple rundown of what the difference is between business manager and business suite. I've done up this nice creation in Canva. Who doesn't love a nice little Canva creation? So business manager is essentially the back end ownership and access for all things related to your Facebook business. Okay, and Instagram business. Like it is back end ownership. It's really the nitty gritty of like the settings and things that you can access through your business on Facebook. Business suite does have some settings and you can access some things that business manager also gives you access to. However, it is really a simplified front end management of your Facebook and Instagram page. This really joins the two different platforms into one central place to be able to create and schedule posts for both platforms and stories, reply to messages all in one place. Whereas business manager doesn't have that option. It is really the back end ownership and access. The best way I like to think about this is, and I, I talked about this in another video as well, think of your business manager as a house for your business. So in a house, you have different rooms and think of all of these different rooms as the different assets that you can have within your business. So, um, you know, Facebook is a room, your Instagram page is a room, Facebook ads is a different room, uh, sorry, ads manager is a different room and your uh, Facebook pixel is a different room. And all of these connect to your business manager. If you give someone the key to your house, they will be able to access all these different assets. Otherwise, these people are sort of climbing in the windows trying to get access to it and it's sort of all over the place trying to guess which window is which room. So the best way to go about this is by giving them access to your business manager um, and managing everything from there. So let me show you a little bit uh, how to navigate through business suite first. So I'm over here. I've gone through my Facebook page and I've clicked over to business suite. It's going to take me to a page like this. It seems like they just made an update. So if yours looks a little bit different, it, this version is coming soon or in about, you know, a few months from now, it might look a little bit different. But right from the beginning here, we have manage Facebook page and access Instagram. And that would bring you right to those platforms. Really indicating that this is to manage the two platforms in one central place. On the left hand side, you'll see you have uh, notifications all in one central place, uh, mailbox for messages that come in from Facebook and Instagram, posts and stories. Um, you also have this option for sales here, but you'll see that it actually takes you somewhere else. That's going to bring you to another window and I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, you can schedule posts and then you also have this advertising option here. Now, this is what can seem very confusing for people who are wondering the difference between business suite and business manager in relation to Facebook ads manager, because you do have that option here. But let's just click into it right here and um, it'll tell me I can make my first ad. You do have the option to set up an ad here from business suite, but this is essentially boosting a post. Okay, this is basically what it's doing here. It has really simplified everything for you. Get more sales leads, increase the number of purchases on your website. You can see just the, the wording is just a simplified version. But I would not recommend using Business Suite to manage any sort of ad. You should be doing it through Ads Manager. And that Ads Manager should be connected to your Business Manager. But let's just say you do create an ad. You can go to all advertisements right over here. And then you'll see that if you have run any ads for your page in the past, you'll 
be able to see some um, results here. Now, the issue with this is that one, I cannot change anything through Business Suite. Um, so if you are running ads, you're really just getting an overview. You'll see, show the results. If I open this up, it'll bring me to Ads Manager. You cannot see it from Business Suite. Okay, so that brings me right to Ads Manager. And again, this is really a simplified version of Business Manager. So you'll get a lot of the same options here. Now, if we scroll down to All Tools, again, this can make it even more confusing for the difference between Business Manager and uh, Business Suite because you have a lot of the same options here. Again, this is a central hub for your Facebook and Instagram page. Keep remembering that because um, it's pulling information from the two platforms and giving you the option in one place on what you want to do with it. And then you'll see that if you wanted to manage billing, I click that up. It is going to bring me to the settings for my ad account, but you'll notice that this is actually business manager. So now I'm viewing business manager. Okay, and so just bringing back to the point that, that the business suite is a simplified version. So it's gonna give you options to bring you all the way to your business uh, manager. Um, if we go down here, again, this is gonna open it up to ads manager. This is gonna open it up to events manager. All of these options that end in manager should be connected to your business manager. Okay, so really, if you're looking to get any sort of business settings, like back end settings, you're going to need to go to your business manager. So if you're a business owner right now and you're dreading the idea of creating a business manager and you don't really understand the difference, the main way that you could go and find where each of your things are, you know, are in like you know your Facebook page or Instagram or your ad account um first is by going to Facebook business suite um so really just googling that and going to your business suite you can also access it from your Facebook page on the left hand side um and then your business settings like business manager would be fa business.facebook.com slash settings so this is what your business manager settings should look like and you'll see that on the left hand side here we have access to all the things that you need to have connected into your business manager to run a successful business on Facebook, especially if you're running ads. So we have people, um, we also have pages, ad accounts, Instagram accounts, we have pixels and catalogs, and we also have your uh, domains and different ways of, uh, and, and payment systems. So. This is really important to have as a business owner or if you are an agency owner and some of your clients do not have a business manager, you should be connecting all of their assets to their business manager. And I wanna give you this example right over here that I sort of built. This really explains how all of the different assets are connected to the Facebook business manager. Um, so you can connect your Facebook page, your Instagram page, your ads manager, your Facebook pixel. Those are all things that you manage from business manager and they should be connected there. Although yes, Facebook business suite can have Facebook and Instagram connected to it. Really all of the settings that go from your ads manager or from your Facebook pixel is going to be connected through your business manager and not business suite. Like I was showing you earlier, when you click up those settings, it brings you right back to a uh, business manager or your events manager, which should be managed through your business manager. Now, if you did want to see, first of all, if you do have a business manager, where you're gonna wanna go is business.facebook.com slash create or slash overview would work as well the slash overview, and you will get to this page. I wouldn't recommend that you, if you're going to go to this page, I would recommend that you um, sign in from a different browser. Otherwise, it might bring you back to the same place that you were before, like business suite. And so if you wanted to create a business manager, you would go create account right over here. Now, once you're inside of business manager, this is what it's gonna look like. And in order to add the different assets, um, to your business manager, this is what you would have to do. So on the left-hand side here, we have the different assets that you can add in there. Probably the first one that you're gonna start with is the pages. Like this would be a Facebook page. 
Yours might be blank if this is the first time that you're creating a business manager or it might be here already, you didn't know. But if it isn't here, you're gonna wanna go to the top right here and press add page. Or if you are adding this as um, someone who's managing someone else's business, you could request um, access to someone else's page. So let's just go add page. You would find the Facebook page URL, put it in here and add that to your business manager. The next one would probably be an Instagram account. Again, we're just gonna press the add button right over here and you are gonna need the username and password to log in here. Um, again, this is if you're building it out for the first time. And the other one might be your ad account. So I would recommend the best way to do this is by going to your ads manager and then right at the top here, you'll see this is facebook.com slash ads manager. And then you'll see ACT and there'll be a number right after it. That is your ad account number. So go ahead and copy that. Go back over to your business manager and you can add an advertising account. Again, this is under the idea that, that you're creating this for the first time and that you own your ad account or that you own all of these Facebook pages. Um, if you are getting access to someone else's that you do not own, then you would request access to that ad account. And of course, if you do not have an ad account yet, you could just create a new one right there. So let's say now uh, you as a business owner, you've created a business manager and you want to add someone else and give them access to all of these different things. This is what you would do. So the best way to go about that is to add them as a, per as a user onto your entire business manager. That way they will also be able to go in here and see the different assets that are connected to your business manager. There is an option through business suite to give people access to these different assets. Again, I always recommend you go to business manager to do this because this is the, the central hub for all of your business settings, the backend access. So you could just go add you would type in their email address and you could either give them a, um, employee access or admin access. And then they would get an email, they would need to input their name. And then once these people are added to the um, business manager, you would then select their name and give them the access you want them to have like to your different assets. So you could go here and you could go add items. And then you could go through all of the different assets that you have and give them specific access. So even though they have access to your business manager, they still need access to these different um, assets that you have within your business. So again, business manager is the backend ownership and access, especially if you have multiple ad accounts, um, if you have multiple employees and you're tired of giving your username and password or uh, navigating through business suite, you should be doing it through business manager. Business suite is simply a front end management for creating and scheduling posts or replying to messages for your Facebook and Instagram account. Business manager, is all settings related to your business on Facebook. So I hope this somewhat simplifies the difference between Facebook Business Manager and Business Suite. The main takeaway that I want you to have from this video is that you should be managing your business through Business Manager. If you do not know how to set it up, if you're having any issues, reach out. Absolutely no problem asking for help. Uh, the first way you can do that is by in the comments section below. And the second way is actually joining our new platform called Coffee and Marketing, where you can grab a coffee and just talk about marketing to other marketing professionals. Go in there, create your account, and you can ask whatever questions you want. And you are guaranteed that a Facebook marketing expert will be able to reply to the questions that you have. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys got a simplified version of what the difference is and uh, I would love your feedback. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and I will definitely see you in the next video.